So today I'm gonna build a lithium iron battery pack for my uh, RC toy. What I have here is a uh, terrain twister. RC toy and it uses the uh, 7.2 volts. 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack like this here. But I don't have battery pack for this. Each of this cell is uh, 1.2 volts. So the pack for this is a 6S pack. Six of these cells in series to produce 7.2 volts. I don't want to spend money buying this pack. And it doesn't last very long either. These cells are not very energy dense. So I want something that uh, I can make for free and it can last a long time running on my uh, vehicle. And I already built a battery pack for my vehicle. This is a 2X2P battery pack with the balance lead so I can balance charge it. Uh, the nominal voltage of this pack is uh, 3.7 volts times 2 that is 7.4 volts which is perfect for this vehicle. So this pack is gonna go into the housing on the vehicle problem is uh, it's a bit small barely fit a single cell in there so I guess I have to remove the uh, black plastic housing inside the vehicle in order to have enough room to uh, fit my new battery pack in there and also I have to solder the terminals those are the terminal that used to connect to the older the original battery I have to cut the terminal and solder an XT60 connector to connect to my uh, battery so there are four screws on the top and nine screws on the bottom and here is the inside of the vehicle and there are four more screws on the battery housing that I have to remove and here is the new XT60 connector solder to the wires right. so now I just have to put everything back together here I have everything connected together now I just uh, connect my battery Let's see if it fits. Seems to fit well. Got my lid here. Let's see if it close. It's a tight fit here. There we go. Nice and tight. Now let's try see if it works. There we go. Works great. Here I have two packs and this one here came from a Makita power tool battery so this is a high discharge battery pack this one is different even though it looks almost the same this one here came from a laptop computer battery so the discharge of this is pretty low but I got two in parallel so um, it should help a little bit not sure it would be enough uh, to handle the load of this vehicle because they are a bit heavy, big and heavy. So I'm going to do a head to head comparison between the two battery packs also. I'm going to put the Makita Power 2 battery in the blue vehicle and it fits perfectly in here. And the laptop battery pack in the red vehicle. And let's see which one is better. Right, 
race uphill. Count to three, one, two, three, go. Man can't go straight. Weird. Look at that. <laughs> okay, count to three, one, two, three, go. Horses uh, set. It runs at the same speed though. See it? It runs about at the same speed. You know, the red one can't go straight. Keep going around. Keep going around. It's so funny. <laughs> Let's see who wins. Which one wins? <laughs> All right, go, 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 go. Whoa. Let's see who won. Laptop battery versus Makita Power 2 battery. Yo, what happened? <laughs> 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 so hard to control this thing, isn't it? He's going, he's going a wall. All right, we are tied to the back. It's a tuck of wall. See which one is strong. Ready? Go. <laughs> All right, take two. This time I tie with the electrical cord. Ready? Go. Oh my God. <laughs> Why you stop? Why do you stop? I'm going anyway. It's about equal, isn't it? Well, actually, the blue one is stronger. Look at that. Right? See that? The blue one is stronger. Here we go. <laughs> As you can see from the video, the blue one is a little bit more powerful than the red one because it has a higher power, higher discharge battery pack. Uh, this is from a Makita Power 2 battery. This is from a laptop battery. But uh, the difference is not too much though because the motors on this vehicle, they're not really a high performance motor. So you cannot utilize the full potential of a high discharge battery pack. Even though this one is 40 amp discharge rate, this one is only 8 amp. So I would say a laptop battery cell would do just fine uh, on these RC vehicles. So for a toy that is more power demanding like this toy here, this motor it's a lot more powerful and uh, it requires a, a battery that uh, has higher amp draw. You can use a laptop battery, a cell from laptop battery like this, but uh, it's best to use a cell that is a higher amp draw, like a, from a cordless tool battery, that you can utilize the uh, performance of the motor of this toy car. And that's all for now. Now, see you later. There you go. What are they doing? Are they main thing? Oh my gosh. <laughs>